it's not just House committees now. It's not just the House Armed Services Committee and the House Oversight Committee. It's now going to be, apparently in mid-next week, the Senate Armed Services Committee will be sponsoring the exact same language, pushing for UAP transparency, you know, the the Gallagher-sponsored amendment on the House side. So you'll have three committees publicly concerned about industry involvement in crash retrieval. That's historical and groundbreaking. You've got the most powerful authorization committees in Congress, minus the HIPSI, the House Permanent Select Committee for Intelligence, sponsoring the exact same language, the SSCI, that's the Senate Select Committee for Intelligence, the Senate Armed Services Committee, and the House Armed Services Committee. And I guess another one that we should possibly name is the Oversight Committee, if Tim Burchett gets his go with them. And what he's talking about is, in part, the um, amendment that um, Mr. Gallagher has put up, which is essentially saying no funds authorised to be appropriated by the National Defence Authorisation Act for fiscal year 24 may be obligated or expended directly or indirectly in part or in whole to conduct or support any activity relating to unidentified anomalous phenomena that is controlled under a classified program that has not been formally, officially, explicitly, and specifically described, explained, and justified to the appropriate congressional committees, congressional leadership. It's pretty amazing, this stuff. And I mean, I've forgotten where it is, but, um, (laughs) you know, uh, Dean, Douglas Dean Johnson's written it up the best, where he writes about how the new Senate intelligence bill that um, uh, Kirsten Gallagher is pushing It gives holders of non-Earth origin or exotic UAP material six months to make it available to the all-domain anomaly resolution office. Yeah, but Ross, doesn't that just give them six months or more to hide their shit? Okay. People are going to question what I'm about to say. What if some of that shit is so big it can't be moved? Is that what you're saying, Ross? Is that what you've been told? That's exactly what I'm saying. How big is big? Big. So big, they built a building over it. In a country outside of the United States of America. I know that sounds preposterous, and I know, oh my God, you can just hear them now, the bleating debunkers. Let's see this investigated. Let's just see what happens. Let's test these allegations before the Congress. It's very, very easy for people to go, oh, there's no evidence. Oh, my goodness me. Let's just go away and ignore it. Let's test it. We haven't even got there yet. Mm. You know, there's a whole cadre of supposed experts on social media who are saying it can't be, therefore it isn't. And that's been the default for so many years. It can't be, therefore it isn't. Imagine if what Mr. Grush is saying is true. Think about the implications of that. And imagine if, as I've just intimated to you, some of these objects are not capable of being moved because they're too bloody big. I mean, that's pretty astonishing. Have you said that before? No. No. You're the first. See, I always save something for you, Jay. <laughs> always save me a little something. No, seriously, though, Ross, that's that's nuts. So you were told by someone, a, a trusted source, I imagine. that Multiple. No, let, let me just tell you this. I know exactly where it is. My goodness. My goodness. Do you think that's going to come to light? One day. One day. Yeah. And it's it's really interesting because it's... Absolutely gobsmacking that it's being kept as a secret. Jesus. Imagine having an object that's so big, it's just not conceivable to move it. I can't. I can barely even comprehend that. Yeah. I I thought it was bollocks when I heard it too, and most people listening to this will anyway. But, um, uh, yeah, I mean, again, just an allegation, but one that I'm... 
you know, assured should be taken seriously and hopefully will be being investigated by the Congress. Because again, where did the money come from? What's that money accounted for? The continued security and and um, control of such an object for many decades. Who's paid for that? What programs have paid for that? Has that been disclosed to taxpayers? This is going to be a really fun inquiry. If Congress starts doing its job, 